Jamie, how long does it take to get used to calling Christopher Walken daddy? <laughs> Welcome to Ireland. Once upon a time, there were two farms. The Muldoon farm where Rosemary lived and right down the road was my farm where my son Anthony asked his lonely question of the stars. Why did you make me so? Uh, um, you know what? The, the, only, um, the only rehearsal time we had, we didn't have rehearsal time with Miss Emily Blunt. Um, but uh, I did. Don't get, make it uh, out like I'm really exclusive. Don't make it out like I just refused to. <laughs> like I swanned in. I couldn't get there earlier. You're like, you know, with Miss Emily Blunt. You were still <laughs> cruising the rock, I think. Uh, it's often uh, my problem. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, listen, um, it is a problem. I, I got a few days rehearsal with Derby Malloy and, and, and Chris Walken, so um, um, I got to call him da Daddy a few times uh, uh, before. Which, yeah, listen, I don't think I'll ever sink in that he's actually portrayed my father in something. You know, it's 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 really really cool. And, uh, yeah. I love Derby. Especially when he says to you, "What's the words? Your face is not right." Yeah, not and you're the like. First time that was every audition for a decade. That was the... <laughs> <laughs> now, Emily, I imagine it's a dream for an actor to be introduced in a movie on a horse, right? That's a big thing. And smoking a pipe. You managed to kind of do the two-ish at once. And your opening scene together is in a cow shed. And I was wondering, in the grand scheme of your careers, where does that rank in the glamorometer what, what I mean, the I feel other? Like, I feel like Wild Mountain Time was probably, when you talk about the sort of shooting environment, even though it was stunningly beautiful on the farm that we were filming on, but it didn't matter whether it was the sun was out or it was pouring down with rain. We simply, because we shot it for four or five weeks, we didn't have time to wait for nice weather or whatever. And so I think we were just covered in cow manure most of the time and it wasn't you know but that was the beauty of it is that we both wanted to do something small and intimate and it felt really good to do that it felt like you were at like some school camp I mean it was just so joyous and fun and unglamorous and in 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 the best way also Jamie you get to show off your finest falling into a river acting yeah. capped off with falling down a hill whilst doing some metal detecting. Do like that. Was that explicitly in the script or was that you just going, I, I think I've got to uh, go now? I think there's three, three Pratt Falls in the movie and I think all three are in the trailer. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. Um, but uh, you know, it's also trying to... Um, Trying to make each one its own, uh, <laughs> its own sort of thing. Yeah, actually, remember when we were out for dinner, Emily and John, your husband showed that clip of Philip Seymour Hoffman because he said this is the best <laughs> prank fault ever. Uh, the opening, his opening of his, uh, his introduction of his character, and <laughs> it looks so sore. Okay, do we sanitize this thing? Best man is in the house. <laughs> Oh, oh my God. But um, yeah, t the, the, there's a lot of uh, falling in there. The, the river one was tricky because you know, I'm, I'm I'm quite a coordinated person. I'm not a I'm not a I don't fall over a lot, you know. So I'm falling out of a boat. I love that. I love that sort of brag. I don't fall over a lot, ladies. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a coordinated <laughs> person. Is the worst brag ever. The uh, the other thing I wanted to ask. Speaking of this, is Emily? You get a really good frustrated cigarette flick. And I think that's in the same kettle of fish of on screen. That's that's another box ticked, right? Well, it was on the bucket list, so I feel I can cross that one off. Just a fr frustrated cigarette flick. Yeah, it was fun. Are there any that you guys would like to do? Is a table flip in anger? I'd like to in anger on screen just go. I quite like to do a table flip. I don't think I've ever trashed a room. Oh. in a scene have you trashed a room jamie uh yeah i've done versions i've like you know flipped up um books off a table uh, <laughs> and in the first series of football i got to uh uh 
go to town with that mannequin and um and just like with the like a hammer and just beat the mannequin and obliterate it and um they just i remember they just set up three cameras and they just said just go for it and uh i was bleeding at the end and it was crazy i had a good time you suffer that is for... really messed up i don't think you should that's not a funny anecdote that's disturbing <laughs> you were playing a serial killer and you really enjoyed like literally shattering a mannequin to dust that is listen it's all being revealed right now it's all would, coming out it's been a tricky year so i've been asking everyone this what have been your comfort food tv choices what have you been just relaxing and calming down watching this year Jamie's been watching uh, The Fall. Dexter. No, I've been watching, what did I watch? The Crown, Queen's Gambit. Oh, what, would, what was the other one we absolutely mainlined through? There was another one we got through really, I, oh, can't, remember. I can't remember. Friday Night Lights, you guys watched? Friday Night Lights, oh never seen that before. So oh, good. Loved it, loved it. Can you top that, Jamie? Uh, uh, no, yeah, I, we did, um, you know, imagine thinking about Tiger King now, like how long we were like, <laughs> Yes, Tiger King was amazing. So we all did that. And then, um, yeah, actually we only started watching The Crown this, this year. So I'm only in season, season two of, of, of that. I don't know why I have a pen in my hand. Um, <laughs> take it. <laughs> um, so yes, uh, there we go. So yeah, The Crown and um, Queen's Gambit. Looks, I, I can't, I, I haven't started that yet because we're deep into The Crown. But yeah, a lot of TV has been watched definitely this this year. Anyway, my pen and I are now saying goodbye. Thank you so much, you guys. It's been a real pleasure. Thank you. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to keep up to date. You can listen to my Radio 1 movies and TV podcast screen time on BBC Sounds. And you can find these interviews in full on BBC iPlayer by searching Movies with Ali Plum.